Hey, what's up everybody? Rob here from Ramp Studio Comics. Welcome back. So today's video is just a little bit of the process of inking on this fan art piece. Obviously using the iPad Pro and the app Procreate. And so what I wanted to talk about today, uh, I originally recorded this in real time, had some problems with the audio, so now I'm redubbing it. And I decided to time lapse it because you know a lot of these videos um, that are longer just don't seem to be as well received. Uh, but at any rate, with this particular one, I want to talk to you why I feel that the app Procreate and the iPad Pro is such a great way to ink these days. Now, before I get started, I do want to say that I don't mean that this somehow beats uh, or negates working traditionally. You just can't beat somebody that's fantastic and, and well-rounded with a, um, uh, a brush and a crow quill. I mean, you just can't. Like a traditional inking, in my opinion, is still the best. But there are some very uh, advantageous reasons to go after digital inking. For me personally, it's time constraints. It's my ability to take it with me wherever I go a little bit easier uh, and just do all of the process entirely in one software or one device. So what you're going to see here by the end of this, not the end of this video, by the way, the end of this piece is that I will have drawn, inked, and colored this entire piece inside of Procreate on the iPad Pro. For me, that is very beneficial, okay? And that's probably not going to suit everybody's needs. Now, the obvious drawback is I don't end up with an original piece of art when I'm done. But why do I really think that this is one of the uh, you know best ways to ink as far as digital is concerned? Uh, it's not just Procreate. Procreate's a fantastic app software, and it, it does a really great job of getting out of the way, allowing you to create digitally, and not feeling like you're working digitally. Okay, so it, it in my opinion, it's the best on the iPad Pro for that reason. But another, obviously, uh, key component, uh, the key component, is the fact that you're working on the iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil. That, to me, is really the best thing out there. Like, I, I find myself feeling less and less likely to work on my Cintiq. So I have a Cintiq HD 22, um, or it's actually called a 22 HD. It's years old now. And maybe the better one's better, and, you know, it's a lot of money. I'm not going to run right out and buy it just to see. The reviews were less than stellar. So I'm not, I'm not that keen on buying the new version uh, right yet. But anyways, the iPad Pro beats it hands down in my opinion okay so i thought at first it was a little bit more of a close uh battle but the more i started to use it the more i realized that no the apple pencil and ipad pro just feels a lot better it feels a lot more natural uh now mind you even my ipad pro is a couple years old but it's just it feels so much like you're drawing on paper uh you know it still doesn't feel as good as paper okay so you don't have the friction that you have on a nice sheet of paper. Drawing traditionally just feels great, feels right, right? It's what we're most used to. So sliding around on the screen, even with screen protectors or, um, you know, these matte finish uh, anti-glare protectors that you put on them, they help, but they don't necessarily make it feel like you're drawing on paper. Nothing does. So you can't really beat that. But again, having all of it in, in one unified way of creating the iPad Pro with the app Procreate and the fact that it records video for you as well. Like obviously I'm showing my hand working on the screen here. I felt it would be more beneficial uh, to show this particular video this way, but uh, it does actually record the process of me creating this artwork inside of the app Procreate. So that's very powerful, especially if you're uh, a YouTuber like myself or somebody that likes to share video. So Again, it's it's just very, very uh, beneficial to work in this format. Now, it, you know, when I talk about the Cintiq and, and um, you know, say that, that I feel like the iPad Pro and the app Procreate just has it beat now, uh, there are some things that, you know, I still have to give credit to as far as the Cintiq and the bigger device. You obviously have more real estate. I, I've often said I wish the iPad Pros were a little bit bigger. I wish they'd come out with a big brother to this. Not uh, so much in, in processing. I feel like it does a fantastic job of processing and rendering all this art, saving the video files. I just don't feel like the bigger computers do that much more. Obviously, they do. There's certain uh, software restrictions that you obviously have to deal with with uh, iPad Pros. 
uh, but they seem to be bridging the gap more and more. But as it pertains to the Cintiq, uh, the 22 on a desktop, yes, you can multitask better and you have more real estate on the screen, which can be beneficial. Um, but there's another thing that, that you need to think about as well. Like when you work smaller, you're able to take the image in all in, in its entirety. You actually do want to focus on working smaller as much as possible uh, because you're, generally your compositions are going to be better, your pages are going to read better. Uh, you, again, you see it all as a whole. That's why a lot of artists start with thumbnail sketching. Um, every artist should really. And then they try to, to keep a lot of that thumbnail work into their bigger page work. A lot of times it gets lost in translation. We've talked about that on the channel. And so essentially, again, the fact that it is smaller really kind of plays into a strength, not necessarily a weakness. But uh, it is nice having that added real estate and being able to you know, draw a larger page and throw your arms around and, and feel like you're painting on a canvas or something. So again, not everything is perfect. There's going to be pros and cons to everything. But I feel that right now, especially with the updates that Procreate's made in this app and the way that the iPad Pro works so efficiently, I feel like this is really the best way for me personally to create on the go and really my favorite way to ink at this point. So at any rate, that's the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. More content is on the way. As always, keep drawing, keep having fun, and bye for now.